in this video of glad to teach we are going to learn the technique to solve all kinds of quadratic equation it really doesn't matter if the roots of the quadratic equation given to you are rational irrational fractions or integers so first you try to solve this quadratic equation it looks like a very simple one start So, could you solve this quadratic equation? I very much doubt, as this quadratic equation was a tricky one, though it looks very simple and harmless. At the first glance, you think that the two factors of 8, whose sum or difference is 7, would be 8 and 1. Isn't it? Difference of 8 and 1 is 7. But try adjusting the signs and you will know that something is wrong. Since the difference is negative, therefore, the bigger number should be negative. And since the product is positive, therefore, the other number has to be made negative as well. As minus 8 times minus 1 is plus 8. So everything looks perfect, doesn't it? Not at all. As now, the difference is no more minus 7. See, minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9, not minus 7. So that means these can't be the factors. See, I told you this equation was a tricky one. Many students get stuck in exam on an equation like this and end up wasting lot of precious time. But you don't have to worry about that at all. For I'm not only going to teach you a technique to easily solve such tricky quadratic equations, but I'll also tell you a trick to easily find out if the quadratic equation given to you is tricky or not. So once again, we are going to use the tool called discriminant. So I'm sure that you remember that D is equal to B square minus 4AC. I'll put it down. And as you already know that this is your A, this is B and this is C. So B square is negative 7 square that is positive 49. And minus 4ac would be minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 times 8 is minus 32. 49 minus 32 is 17. So that means that this equation is a very tricky equation. Why? Because 17 is not a perfect square. We can directly factorize a quadratic equation only if d is a perfect square. In case you are wondering what perfect squares are, they are the numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, so on, which are square of some number, like 1 is the square of 1, 4 is the square of 2, 9 is the square of 3. And you know which number 16 is square of. In other words, you can say a perfect square will always have an integer as its square root. Like square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2. See, it's an integer, not a fraction or some decimal. So 17 is definitely not a perfect square. That means you can easily say that this quadratic equation is a tricky one. Don't get deceived by its innocent looks. So now I'm going to tell you the technique to not only solve such tricky quadratic equations, but to solve the quadratic equations of all types. So for that we are going to use this quadratic formula. That is x equal to minus b since here b is minus 7 so minus b would be minus minus 7 that is positive 7 plus minus root d so d is equal to 17 divided by 2a 
that is just 2 as a is here equal to 1 and 2 times 1 is 2 only that's it question solved so the two roots of this very tricky quadratic equation are x equal to 7 plus root 17 over 2 and x equal to 7 minus root 17 over 2 you see had this useful quadratic formula not been there then we could have never guessed it even in our wildest dreams that these will be the roots of this quadratic equation as the roots of this quadratic equation have this square root term that is an irrational term and that is why we first check using this discriminant formula that the value of d is perfect square or not because if it is not a perfect square then surely the roots of the quadratic equation will have an under root term that means the quadratic equation would be a tricky one you see now it makes perfect sense so now I will solve this same tricky quadratic equation with another technique here it is dy by dx equal to plus minus under root d that means the first derivative of this algebraic equation is equal to plus minus under root of discriminant so the first derivative of this term x square would be 2x that is simply pull down this power from the top and put it as the coefficient and similarly the first derivative of this term minus 7x would be just minus 7 that is just the coefficient and obviously the first derivative of a constant term is always 0 but putting plus 0 here makes no difference so we will not put it so this was the first derivative so now put this equal to plus minus root d d if you remember for this equation we had calculated to be 17 so we'll put equal to plus minus root 17 so with that we have reduced this tricky quadratic equation into a very simple linear equation which I'm sure you can very easily solve and find the two roots of this quadratic equation so this means x equal to take this minus 7 to the other side and it will become plus 7 so now take this coefficient 2 to the other side so obviously this 2 will go in the denominator so we will put it as over 2 so that's it question solved so once again we get the same two roots that we had got using the quadratic formula by the way this very short and simple formula is known as the Vedic formula for solving quadratic equations this is a highly powerful formula which very few people in this world are aware of and now you are one of them using this formula you can rip apart even the most difficult quadratic equations instantly into the very simple linear equation it is that powerful 